It's a brand new day. Hey, hey, hey. It's a brand new day. Dear one of my biggest followers on Facebook. And it turns out she's actually very good friends with Maribel, who works in the team, who is like in charge of our programming and my cameras and everything. But it's funny how we became friends on Facebook. Last year, we spoke a lot about integration with the Spanish community. The last few weeks in the Euro Weekly, I published the, what's happened in the last years. You can go to my website, marbearnowtv.com, and read the story so far with everything and all the ideas that come up. But regarding integration, basically, there's not just do it. Try to speak a bit of Spanish. This is not our home. We can't expect it to be our home. And if you want it to be like England, Belgium, France, or Germany, go home. Please just go home and let the people who are here live. Understand we need to be on the town census. And even if we just say hola and adios, why do we have to walk in a, a Spanish place and say hello, goodbye? I mean, it's just rude. It is so rude. So the basics I would recommend, and this lady is probably the cheapest, easiest way and very much Spanish for foreign residents to get us in there. And she's excellent, there you go. And she's sweet as a button. Uh, hello, firstly, congratulations to Nicole King and all the people involved in organizing this great event. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, too. My name is Maria Angela Chica. I'm the Spanish teacher at Marbella Town Council Schools, both in San Pedro and Nueva Andalusia. I'm a Spanish teacher for 16 years. As most of my students come to a school to learn to speak and understand Spanish, I adopt a communicative approach where we talk a lot about everyday topics. Through these discussions, it became clear to me that uh, a lot of foreign people living here don't know about our, our local traditions, events, festivals, etc., happening in Marbella or other nearby towns. That's why I created a public Facebook page called Spanish for Foreign People, Arte and Cultura San Pedro, where every day I post news and information related to festival, events, traditions, or anything I consider foreigners may find interesting. Another thing I noticed was that uh, it's not always easy for foreigners to get the opportunity to practice Spanish with local people. As you know, there are many shops, restaurants, companies and banks where people can speak English or even other languages. That is why I also created a conversation club using a private Facebook group. And now all my students have the opportunity to meet native Spanish people and practice their Spanish. Most of the Spanish people who participate in this conversation club come from the official school of languages and from Marbella town council schools. Uh, finally, I want to say that I deeply admire all my students because when we are adults, we are sort of time due to lots of responsibilities like work, children, and it's not so easy to learn a language. I really appreciate all my students' support year after year, and I do my best to help the foreign community learn Spanish and make them feel happier in my beautiful country. Thank you. Hey, hey, it's a brand new day. I'm gonna hand over to the town hall. If anyone hasn't, I know Lily wants to say something else. Let's do town hall then Lily, and then also we'll be doing interviews on the terrace if you want to get, make sure that you've got your, something else you want to say. Okay? Gracias, Nicole. Hello again. I want you to, to meet Eduardo. He works uh, with me in the Foreigners Department, and he's in Nueva Andalucía District. And Moises Martín, he's in Las Chapas District. I'm, uh, my office will be in two weeks in the exhibition center, as I told you, but he's, he will be two days a week in Las Chapas and uh, Eduardo is every single day in Nueva Andalucía. Well, what uh, we're going to hand in is the registration forms and also the voting forms. I'm going to explain to you. I'm sure many of you are already registered in the city hall, but I'm sure that when you register, nobody told you to sign the intention to vote. You know that being European, um, 
you have the right to vote for local elections here in Marbella. If you live here on a permanent basis, I think it's, it's great that you uh, get implicated in the day-to-day -day of Marbella, knowing your politicians, uh, knowing uh, who is running the city, I mean, the decisions that are, are being taken. So I think that from this moment, if we all get together, you know, the more we are, the more pressure we can do on our politicians to get where we, wa where, where, where we want to get, sorry. Okay, so uh, if any of you register in the city hall but didn't sign this other form, you can do it now or you can take it home. And uh, also my business cards are there with my email address. Well, now, Nicole, thank you. But <laughs> and uh, we will take them, we will uh, take them to the city hall and they will tell, that, they will tell, uh, tell us there if you are registered or not. And handing this before December, you have the right to vote on next elections, local elections, that they will take place on May uh, 19th. So that is very, very important, that if you are registered, you know that you have the right to vote, okay? And we are 36,000 uh, uh, foreigners with the right to vote. I think that can change. I don't know how to say this. This can change the, um, the dynamic of the city. If you don't agree with it, or if you're happy with it, we can maintain it. So really, your vote is very important. I would never dare to tell you who you have to vote with, but please go to the police station and vote. Even though if you want to put the in blank, doesn't matter, but go there, okay? Because I think it's a right, but it's also an obligation, okay? So uh, please, if you're so kind, just uh, handy in the forums and I think together with Nicole, Nicole and maybe with all, all these uh, uh, people here, uh, I'm sure you have all your, you have their email addresses. I just want to make sure if you mind that we send you twice a month a newsletter from the City Hall informing you on all events and everything that is important to the uh, foreign community. So if I can use uh, if, if it's okay with you, if, if someone doesn't want to, please, you are in, the, in, in your right not to receive it, okay? But for us, it, it helps a lot to have a contact with you, okay? Thank you no, thank you, and uh, I hope uh, next elections, when I sit with the mayoress, she tells me, Oti, you have done a great job because 2,000 or 3,000 more foreigners went to vote. Uh, that is our goal, okay? So thank you so much, and I count with you. It's a brand new day. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rowan Litcher from Lourdes San Pedro. Last week's sign was 24th of April. One more time, 24th of April. This week's sign is so that you know where the United Nationalities of Marbella Summit is going to take place. And that is the Velvet Marbella. One more time, Velvet Marbella. Hey, hey, it's a brand new day. For Saturday, litter pickers went to Los Narancos and they went picking up all the trash around Los Narancos area. The day after, Mar Puro, which is pure ocean, organised a collection in the port to also pick up all the rubbish that collects there which is another great incentive so melody yeah hi thank you nicole for inviting me today hi to every one of you uh well my name is melody and uh, i'm part of this new association marpuro and what we want is to make people aware of treating the planet and be conscious of what we do we throw really too many garbage away and this needs to stop um, is the house, the planet is the house of everyone. So that's the main uh, issue of Marpuro, is to clean our beaches of Marbella and Sestepona for, for now, <laughs> starting point, uh, the beaches and the sea. We need volunteers for that. Obviously, you're all welcome to join. We're in Facebook as well. But um, the other issue of Marpuro is to create a kids club area. Also, we want to put for adolescents and for elder people. 
So many things that I've been talking today here, uh, we can, uh, and also I've been thinking that we can integrate orphan um, from 18 years old on uh, to work in the association to teach people for creative workshops. Uh, for example, things that we find in the, on the beaches, mountains, beaches, or in nature, drifted wood, shells, uh, you name it. Um, we can teach them to make it yourself. Um, we want to incentivate creativity. At the same time, put videos, talks, of awareness of the planet to make a difference, yeah? So we need a space and we need uh, um, financial support and we are looking for all that uh, to make it good for our community. Uh, and also in the weekends, it could be really nice to make a safe place for adolescents uh, to have a nice non-alcoholic drink, nice music, meet with each other, and also activities for them, like make, um, learn music, dance, make your own fashion, uh, maybe a workshop or whatever. So She is in the right place or what? Because when they explained this to me the other day, I said, you need to come Thursday or Tuesday. I'm doing what, what Rosalind did. <laughs> um, because this is a thing. This is a project that's there. We will include it in all the information. But the idea is that this is the things going on, clearing the ocean, clearing the streets, basically all helping each other get integrated. Melody, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Hey, hey, it's a brand new day. Hey, Stefania from the Hard Rock Cafe. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Nicole. And thank you, Oti and the Town Hall, for all the effort to put all these communities together. Um, as Nicole said, I am marketing and sales for Hard Rock Cafe. We are in Puerto Banús. If you've not heard about us, please come visit. We do have a um, family welcoming uh, venue in which we make every effort to try to include the kids. We have a kids animation on Sundays. Now on brunch, it's starting from 11. It's going to come out soon. But normally every Sunday from 2 to 4, we have animation for the families to come and chill while the kids are playing. And we try to enhance them to play together. So this is something there. But also as the Brits coming towards teenager, I want to talk about my personal experience because I am a Spanish. I am from Marbella. I'm one of those. I know it's weird. but. I want to make an effort to try to include and to have a place in which all these teenagers and the families can, can rely on, on, a, on our venue in Harrow Cafe. We are in, in Puerto Banús, it's such an easy location. And I think that we need to offer something different from the kids that will just go and entertain themselves in different you know, in areas that we don't want them to be involved. So to do so, we need to support the town hall. We need to support all our communities and try to work together. I am open to offer the venue also to different NGOs and activations in which we can work together because actually this is one of the things I've not seen in Marbella. It's people working together and we love Marbella. As Nicole said, I am one of the ones that came back, actually made it back to Marbella and I so much want this to happen for everyone. So please count me in. The Hard Rock Cafe is an all-inner. They've taken on to put in this, that they are supporting the Zero Heroes, so they will be having, as of today, their Zero Stero Hickers, stickers, Hickers. They will be doing the offering the free um, soft drinks to the designated driver, and they are also a United Nationalities of Marbella supporter, which means they are making a safe space for our teens. What can I say? But that's what it's about. It's showing what can be done. And when one starts, others will. Also first in is my son-in-law, James. James. <laughs> James is the new manager here at Velvet. <laughs> so big applause for him because really, you can imagine the abuse from his mother-in-law of getting this thing together. And really, everyone here is just giving their time and everything. Velvet is also a zero hero, United National hangout space. Everything. He's <laughs> he's just joined um, 
velvet and the changes here are amazing particularly the menu which was nice before a bit random but now it's really really nice and we have a pianist here who's going to play for us during the lunch Jens is going to give us a little bit of entertainment because when we do stop the idea is you network but as you're networking here Marbear networking is a network for me and sod everyone else. This is not acceptable. Now you all know that we need to tell our old people that there is support, vulnerable people there is support. We need restaurants to do communal areas, maybe one day a week where we can hang out with each other. We need to get a bowling alley for Marbella, something safe for our kids. And if it means crowdfunding, there are eight good schools with 600 families. We can afford it. We can do this, it's not difficult, it's easy to do. We just need to do it. So we are gonna say thank you so much, James. <laughs> Bless his cotton socks. <laughs> um, thank you. Charity events, Velvet. Charity events, Hard Rock. You've already got places here. Start talking, book in your charity events. And it's time. 